Believer Live. Good morning, 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Hope you're doing well. And I'm gonna get it out of the cycle here and the music. And it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master Scrum Master and Agile Coach. Hope you're doing well today. And uh, today I want to talk about enjoying your product owner. Having a conversation the other day with a team that finally got a product owner and they are happy as a clam. Not in a clam bake. I guess a clam would be happy in a clam bake, but, you know, happy. Um, so we're going to talk about that and enjoying it and why it's good and talk some different aspects of a product owner, why it's helpful. Um, and try not to do everything yourself. Why stress yourself out? And I'll be honest, sometimes when I see organizations not have a product owner, I think they're cheap. <laughs> to be honest with you, they don't want to buy. They well, we'll just get everyone to do more than one job and save money that way. Think about it. Anyway, 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And here we talk about Scrum and Agile in a very practical and tactical way. So you can bring more value to your customer, not work crazy hours to get there. And I think the two topics that we're going to, those two first mission points are in this show. And get you home to family and friends so you can have fun and have fun at office and at home. So with that, one of the things I am going to test, I got a new thing for our Tuesday night episode where we talk about the news and events. And I'm going to try something right now. And people who are on um, podcasts won't be able to see it because they're listening to the show. But I'm kind of curious. I had created a banner. So I want to do the Tuesday night show rather than me li listing out all these different job postings and all. I found a way to do a banner. So what will happen? I will talk about the highlights on Tuesday night of the job market, what's going on, what the big movers are. Rather than talk about everything, I found a way of sharing the information with all of you throughout the show and switch different banners. So. This will go through all the data we're collecting off LinkedIn. We'll share it, but that way you don't have to read it all. Now, if you're on a podcast and you want to hear your thing, you may not hear it, but it's always on YouTube. And it's always in link. Uh, well, YouTube, I'll be honest with you, is the easiest way to find the library of episodes than any of the other platforms that we share this on. So I kind of think of it as my library of stuff, free stuff. Anyway, all right, so top of the hour. So that worked out great, so that's cool. So I'm going to do that next Tuesday. So let's talk about the product owner. So the other day, we were talking about a product owner, and the team's really doing well. And uh, one of the things that's new for the team is that they do have a product owner. They had had one for a while. And the developers were very happy. And one of the things I found when you have really productive teams in fact you're going to want more than one pro you're going to want a ba as long as well as a product owner because there's so much stuff that the team is producing because they're so productive they need two people <laughs> it just gets more and more um and i'll talk about that later and also as a reminder when is it october 19th i'm doing an iiba um talk about building those million dollar teams right so that'll be an i speaking of bas so what about the product owner that makes teams happy and i'm not talking about the the dictative product owner who tells everyone what to do thinks they own everything they're so responsible they're all stressed out they don't spend any time with the team because they're so busy doing cocktail parties and things like that no i'm not talking about that kind of product owner that's another issue when we talk product. What does it really mean to be a product owner? We could do another episode on that. But the idea, so many teams think they want to make the company happy by overworking themselves. I'll write the requirements. I'll write the stories. I will code the stories. I will test the stories. I will do everything myself. Well, you don't want that, right? All you're going to do is turn yourself into a stress ball. And this is where Scrum Master, Scrum Master do the same thing too, to be honest with you. Scrum Master sometimes try to be the product owner and the developer. You know, they try to do everything and you really shouldn't try that. And it's just going to get you all stressed out. But I will tell you, the dev team, the one person that was kind of doing a lot of the product owner dudes, 
so happy that they don't have to do that anymore. It's a, it's a relief. It's a pressure relief. Scrum is designed to think about what really, what things need to be done and give some responsibility to an individual so the team can do what they do and be a high performing team. And when it comes to delivering product and it takes a lot of energy, the product owner has to go out and visit the customer. It ain't easy dealing with customers. I'm going to be honest as a business owner and done um, retail business in the past. And it's tough sometimes doing, dealing with customers. Um, not to say they're all bad, but it's a tough thing trying to get them to figure out <laughs> what's the common question. Well, what do you want? Well, I really don't know what I want. I have the same problem right now. Me trying to figure out what do I want as a coach? I'm looking for other coaches to help coach me in different aspects. What am I looking for in a coach? And I'm using that questioning that, to enhance my coaching um, program that I'm going to be offering soon too. But being that customer, what does the customer want? It's tough to identify that. And if you're building a product at the same time, you're trying to collect information from the customer, it's hard to do. So you should try to get a product owner. And you know what? Don't let management or your company say, you know what? We don't need a product owner. Uh, here we go. Let's say Jim says, what is your opinion on feeling that POs must or even should be technical in nature? Assuming they have technical product, you could just state it as SME of the product domain if that's easier. I'm okay with, you're going to develop as a product owner, you'll develop some technical knowledge of it. Having some knowledge of the domain is a good thing, right? To tell a developer how to code their product is a bad thing. You will, Jim, you will get more um, people revolt. <laughs> not, I'm going to put a quote, not if EO tells the developer how to code. So if, so that's okay. There's a lot of aspects of it. And that's a very good question. Maybe, maybe we should do a whole show on should the PO be a, te uh, a technical person? Cause I can go a whole different things. I expect them to understand the product. What's the capabilities. They should go to trade shows, find out what new, new capabilities come in. But what you have to be careful of is the PO thinks they're the only ones that can come up with new uses for it. POs and the technical people on their staff, on the team should work together to come up with that. So you have to be very careful. And again, if a PO tells a developer how to code something, oh, it's just gonna go bad, gonna go bad fast. There's a guy who does YouTube programs, talks about um, coding. Um, I think it's a DevOps channel. I'll share it um, with everyone. Maybe I'll recommend it on LinkedIn or something like that. But he talks about they and they all talk about when a scrum master or product owner tells a dev team how to code, scrum breaks. Put it that way. Um, so again, having that product owner does that interface with the customer. You want them out with the customer, the users. You want them to know how is the day in the life of the user. You know, bring them, invite them into the team to show something. You know, maybe they go out and meet with the, the user, the customer, and the customer shows them, well, this is what I do. I mean, oh, we need to show this to the team and then let the team experience it and see what this that happens. So that product owner is also the integral integration between the team and the customer, right? They got to do all that facilitation of that effort. So, and I'd be honest, if I was a, a a technical person. I don't know if I want to do that all the time because it takes a lot of mental energy to code software. Um, anything else? I agree with all that discussion on future about technical PUs and how them do in research. What's tomorrow? Friday? Tomorrow's our happy day. How about we do? We we talk about that Monday. So how about we chat on that on Monday? Now, it might be a earlier episode. I'm debating how I'm going to do this. I got some coaching activity I'm going to be doing uh, in the seven o'clock hour after I drop my kids off. So 
maybe we hear a 6 30 a.m show and we're moving it close more to what it was 5 a.m in the morning to be honest with you so that is what i'm i guess we'll go we're at 10 minute mark so we might as well close it out again enjoy having a product owner don't let the company say well we don't need a po you know it's something I want to try to encourage teams to do their own thing and be self. Don't hesitate to keep pestering management to get you a product owner, get you someone from the business, somebody who uses the product on the other side. You really want someone who's actually entering data in or using it to make sales or to market to the customer. You really want someone that has that interface and what makes their jobs better. Just because you're a technical expert, I should write all this stuff down. I'll watch the video again. Doesn't mean that you can um, be that good product and that big customer representative on the team because you want to have that interaction every day. With that, I want to say happy, have a great day. Happy scrumming. Enjoy your day. Stay, stay healthy. And I wish you all the best. And we will see you on Monday. We'll talk about a technical videos maybe.